escapades continued this week after the canine unit caught a bully by the name of Harley, paw deep in jewels and catnip. Authorities are suspicious this is just the tip of the tail and plan on investigating further. Hmm. Yes, this is Detective Dark. Mm-hmm. Oh no, Lucy. She okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Aha. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll be there shortly. Mm-hmm. What's all the fuss, dollface? You had me worried. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, I suppose. Okay, don't worry. I'll have the mutt that did this to you in a cage faster than Lassie found the boy in the well. But first, I need you to tell me everything you remember from that night. Okay, well, the day started just like any other. I woke up. Ate breakfast. I watched some reality TV. Then all of a sudden, nothing. I woke up in my bathroom with a terrible headache and no recollection of how I got there. Or where my pearls were. Naturally, the first thing I did was call my sister, Ethel. Luckily, I was near her house already. When I found her, she was completely disoriented. You've got to find out who did this. What if they try again or come after my diamonds? Gabbing about your rocks isn't going to do anything. Where are they, anyway? Oh! I, uh, blocked it up for safekeeping. Got any enemies, Ethel? Pretty girl like you is bound to say no to a few onlookers. Just a matter of time before you refuse the wrong one. No! Uh, We're just glad you're here now. The catnip escapades. How could I not think of this before? Hello, this is Detective Dog. Mm-hmm. I'd like to bark with one of your inmates about the recent activity involving catnip. Mm-hmm. Okay, tomorrow, two o'clock. Got it. Have you ever seen this broad before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Bronx girl, Ethel. Oops. I mean, nope. Never seen her before in my life. Bronk? As in Bronk thirsty? How does he know Ethel? I ain't gonna snitch. What do you think I am, a rat? But if you can score me some nip in this joint, I may be able to tell you what part of the park Bronk likes to hang out in. Why don't you tell me what I need to know first? Okay, okay. He hangs out on the couch by Mr. Miley's house. (laughs) Now what about my nip? Sorry, Harley. I got a tail to chase, and it ain't mine. I thought I might find you here. Darn it, Harley. That kid will do anything to score a little nip. I got a bone to pick with you, Mr. Thirsty, is it? Questions? About what? I don't know anything about those blonde broads. I didn't mention any blonde broads. Well, uh, I, I mean, I, uh, uh, I don't have to talk to you. Brock, Ethel's on the phone for you. She keeps calling about some Snoop Dogg detective. Apparently he's on his... Oh, cats, it's him! Lucy, I think I found the culprit. Earlier this week, a pack got thrown in the pound for smuggling diamonds and catnip packets. Does the name Bronk Thurster ring any bells? No, I, uh, I don't think so. Why don't you ask your sister? Somehow she got involved with those hounds a few months ago. What? Ethel? My own sister? I think they are using her as their cover. She's been stealing jewels for them. Nobody would ever suspect the pretty blonde. Yours were the last in a long line of jewels that Ethel has taken. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to book her. 
Lucy always got the better side of the bone. Those are my kind of dogs. They understood me. All right, doll face. Sing like a canary. And don't worry, she'll fit in just fine. Pooch like her always makes friends in the joint. I'll catch you later, hun. Do me a favor and stay out of trouble. <coughs> ah, yes, ma'am. How can I help you? Well, it's a long story. <laughs>